to show you my simple uh, solar panel setup here in the shipping container. Uh, start up top, 20 watt solar panel. Uh, not very big, but I'm not out here very much, so I don't think I need a lot. I do have a little bit of shade from these trees, need to cut those down, but so far it still gets enough sun. It keeps the battery charged for as much as I use it, so I'll keep an eye on that. Now the setup in here, I have a 12 volt lead acid uh, deep cycle battery that's charged from the solar panel through the solar panel controller that came with the panel and that seems to work. I'll take you through step by step. First is a uh, master cutoff, master cutoff, which is on the ground. So from the ground of the battery through this master cutoff and then grounded to the container up there. And so that's how I shut the whole system down. So I'll turn that on. And now you can see that sends power or that grounds everything. So now, now things come on. Now what I have up here first is a 200 amp breaker, just as a safety. Now I have two relays before I get into some other components. So relay number one, is controlled by the door, a switch on the door. Because if I somehow forget, leave this on, leave the lights on, close the door, uh, it'll shut everything off and I'll show you how that works. So there's a switch right up here. When the door closes, it strikes a plate, a small aluminum plate that I put on the door and uh, that will shut the whole system off. So if I, touch that, everything shuts off. See that? So door closed, everything off, door open, everything on. Uh, the second relay is controlled by a voltmeter that measures the voltage on the battery and will prevent of complete discharge of the battery, which would be bad for the battery. And I think I have that set at 11.2 volts or something like that. So if the battery gets really low, that will uh, shut this relay off and, and prevent any draw downstream. So then power from that relay goes into a fuse block. Right now I only have one thing on the fuse block and that is, uh, lights. I could put a second fuse in for a, I had planned to have like an auxiliary, like cigarette lighter type plug here. And so then the lights, which are just 12 volt LED, like light bar lights, like an off-road vehicle or something, pretty cheap on Amazon. I'll put links for all these things in the description. But uh, these switches, I uh, could have used a simple switch, but it's fun to have something like this. And now I have light, which of course at night, a uh, world of difference from just using the camera, the phone light on my phone to actually having actual light. Four lights, two in the back closer together than space a little more uh, further apart towards the opening here. So that's a whole setup, really pleased with it so far.